if you've bought a chassis kit from me, these parts come in the kit. A machined chassis, a machined end plug, a C3M connector, and self-tapping screws for the C3M and also for the chassis plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the C3M connector into the chassis plug and we're going to then we're going to tap the holes in here for the chassis. It's a good idea to put a little bit of oil on the threads before you start to screw them in, just a tiny bit. That will help loosen the friction on the cutting threads. So you can put that on. Take your screwdriver, thread that in, and it will get harder and harder because you're cutting the threads. You want to pick it up and hold it. The main thing is that you, your screwdriver does not slip and mar the surface of the and mar the surface of the the uh, plug. And this is this takes a little bit of effort because we're actually cutting the threads in there as well. So once you get the screw down, you want to back it out, being careful not to strip out the screw, so keeping constant pressure on it like this while you're screwing it in and unscrewing it. I'm going to go ahead and do that three times. You can use um, the different screws, the same ones that you're going to use, so we're not tapping with the same screw each time. Put a little bit of oil on this. Start it. I'm putting, putting constant pressure on the screw as I'm screwing it down. And I'm tapping the holes. I'm giving, it, giving the holes threads. Okay. Now I'm going to unscrew this. And the third time as well. WD-40 would be okay, or any household oil like olive oil or vegetable oil, any kind of lubricant for that. Uh, it just helps the screws uh, cut the threads a little bit nicer. If you have an electric screwdriver, you could probably use that too. I'd be a little worried about stripping the screw head. I'm unscrewing it. Again, keeping constant pressure even while unscrewing it. put this C3M connector in here. And you can um, do this so that the triangle of the C3M connector lines up with the top hole. That way, when your chassis is done, this hole will line up nicely with the face of the, cha of the screen and the, the alignment of the C3M connector. Everything will line up nicely. So now, now that the threads are cut, I'm going to attach this back on. This one too.
screw these down nice and tight so that there's no ringing. So there's the end cap for the Austin microphone. Now, when you put this in, this chassis will line up. And again, we're going to do the same thing with these. And I'm going to use my larger screwdriver on this one because these are a larger screw. Again, I'm going to add a drop of oil to this. And you can use, like I said, household oil if you have, to, if you have it. If you don't have the three-in-one oil. Again, constant pressure as I'm threading this. All I'm doing is cutting the threads the first time. One, and then this one. Oops, oil. A little bit of oil. It's just a lubricant to keep those screws from binding up. Okay. Okay. Now we're not going to put this in immediately because we have to connect all of the electrical wires to the C3M connector.